I'm not into musicianship at all. I don't, I don't have any respect for it. I just hate it. You know, to learn how to read music or to understand arpeggios and Dorian modes and all that stuff is just a waste of time. It's just, it just, you know, it gets in the way of originality. Okay, I think he's trolling, right? I mean, this is the same guy who wore a dress to a benefit show. Yeah, Kurt Cobain knew basic theory. I mean, this is probably just him acting too cool for school. I'll be serious at the top here before I get a little silly. Kurt Cobain was a genius. And what he's saying is that he is a vessel. Music comes from the heart and the soul out through him. And you don't have to know any of its construction to create it. You just have to channel your inner creativity, and music theory gets in the way of that, according to him. It gets in the way of originality. Maybe you feel differently, but it's giving, I'm not like the other guys, baby, I'm different. I mean, these chords in lithium are not in any key. That is in some weird E power chord major sound, I don't know. Kind of like a juicy bass line note does not fit in E major. It's a borrowed chord, a flat six major. So it's a really cool way to compose music using your ear, and that's what Kurt Cobain did. A combination of not knowing how to do things with just the raw passion and talent in Kurt Cobain are what yielded the results, not the fact that he didn't know music theory. Not knowing how things go and aligning with your heart and breaking new ground, yeah, that's all what happened with Kurt Cobain. But let me tell you, that not everyone's Kurt Cobain. Claiming music theory is useless is the same thing as claiming that expanding your vocabulary and using proper grammar will inhibit your ability to communicate. But here's something true. I've never met a musician who got worse after learning something. Maybe Kurt would disagree, and I have to admit, if I could just write Come As You Are, <laughs> Maybe I wouldn't have cared to explore music theory, but the truth is it really comes down to two types of people who say that music theory is useless. Lazy people and incredibly famous people. Sometimes the two go hand in hand, but the common denominator is that neither person has a grasp on the thing it is that they are critiquing, music theory. In one instance, this is acceptable. To learn how to read music or to understand arpeggios and Dorian modes and all that stuff is just a waste of time. In another instance, in a much more common instance, I will say this, I've been through four years of music college at Berklee College of Music and I have met some incredibly well-educated musicians in my life and I have seen them go absolutely nowhere. And on top of that, I've met musicians who were in that school but weren't doing well or didn't go to music college at all who are doing great. Deep musical knowledge on a technical level is not required to connect with your listeners. It's just not. Heart, insight, honesty, empathy, these are the things that people look for in your music. And far be it from me to say how to write a good song, but I know what a good song sounds like, that's for sure. Every single Nirvana song can be analyzed using music theory. It's like that scene in Drumline with Nick Cannon where he's playing this incredible drum solo and he doesn't know how to read music or anything, but it prints out what he plays and he's like, whoa, huh, what the heck, I can do that? That's you. And sing with recording. But crucially, check this out. And this song. What about... I mean, who comes up with that riff using music theory? Probably not anyone. And that's the thing about music theory is it's not meant to be a replacement for your creativity. So I understand actually that there could be an innate bias within people who know music theory. It might lead us to write music that only fits in these music theory boxes. Like that song Lithium. I'm always thinking, how did Kurt come up with that? I'm not into musicianship at all. Oh, well, like to me, lithium doesn't sound like it's in a particular key because it's not, but that's something that I notice. I don't just hear the music for what it is. So, dang, maybe Kurt's onto something. But here's the thing about music theory. It's fun to know it because then when you break the rules and you understand how it works, it helps me enjoy what's going on and understand the art form of it. Here's something about Kurt Cobain I'll say, which I have no evidence to back up. It's just a guess. 
but something tells me he would not do well in any sort of jam situation. I looked all over on YouTube to see if there were any like collaborations or guest guitar spot, nothing. There's nothing out there with Kurt playing with anyone except Nirvana performing his own music. So really, he is a one of one. I don't even know if we can trust anything he says about music. He's sort of an alien. And I don't care who you are, if you can't play along and jam with somebody, any instrumentalist, it doesn't matter if they're a guitar player, or a harpist, or whatever, if you can't sit down and jam with someone, can you really even play your instrument? Can you really even be called a musician? I'm not into musicianship at all. So likely, Kurt Cobain's just trolling. I mean, it seems like he rejects the entire notion of music theory, despite his own grasp of the basics. Ultimately, the value of music theory, I guess, varies based on the musician's goals and the context of their career as a musician, whether they're a hobbyist or whatever. But my conclusion, my final verdict, is that music theory is important to anybody who loves playing their instrument. Of course, the fact that I'm a guitar teacher with tens of thousands of students in my guitar learning platform, Guitar Super System, which you can subscribe, link in the description. So maybe I am a little biased myself, but let me tell you, music theory sure does expedite things. It makes your musical ideas right there on the tip of your tongue, the tip of your brain, the tip of your fingers. So don't be angry, Kurt. It's just a waste of time. Or do. I just hate it. I don't really care. The cool thing about education is that nobody can ever take it away from you. Until next time, keep shredding. Well, couldn't do that if I didn't know music theory because I just made all of that up.